They can work. They can lift. They can learn. The newest generation of humanoid robots moves almost like us, but when they look at you, they look through you. Behind their faces lies only a black glass visor, blank and expressionless. So why, after billions of dollars, decades of progress, are the most advanced robots still hiding their faces? Maybe it's not just engineering. Maybe it's psychology. This is Figure 03 from Figure AI. It walks, reaches, and balances with unsettling grace, a mechanical mirror of human movement. Its mission is simple, replace repetitive labor, extend human capability, make machines that can live in our world instead of being caged in factories. Engineers call it a general purpose humanoid. One frame, infinite applications. But that glossy helmet isn't a design flourish, it's a shield. Behind it, dozens of cameras and lidar sensors feed vision to onboard GPUs that run hotter than the human body ever could. Beneath the carbon fiber, fans were constantly to keep its brain from melting. Give it a silicone face and the heat would blister through in minutes. So, for now, the illusion of humanity has to wait. The body can walk, but it still can't breathe. In quieter workshops, Another kind of revolution unfolds. Artists and roboticists chase not motion, but emotion. A head form. Hansen Robotics. A handful of visionaries sculpting faces that twitch, blink, and almost feel. Under each patch of synthetic skin are microservos the size of grains of rice. A tiny pulse here lifts a cheek. A single millimeter there curves a smile. These machines don't walk or lift boxes, but they can make you forget they're machines. Each one is a study in illusion, the way light catches a fake tear, the way silence feels when the eyes don't quite close right. Yet every expression comes at a price. Each blink stretches the silicone a little thinner. Each word tugs the mouth until the seams begin to fray. Flesh is fragile, even when it's made of polymer. The obvious question. Why not merge them? Take the body that works, the face that feels, and give us the perfect humanoid. Because the wall between them isn't just technical. It's philosophical. The moment a robot has a human face, something changes in us. We start to empathize. To project. To car. A visor says machine. A face says person. And that one semantic shift terrifies corporations. Give a robot a name and a smile, and suddenly, unplugging it feels like murder. So, they hide the faces. It's easier that way. But not forever. Somewhere down the line, the two parts will collide. Imagine a figure class body, wrapped in a face sculpted by a head form. A machine that walks with grace and meets your eyes without fear. Her voice calm. Her gestures familiar. Her presence. Almost comforting. Not a fantasy, a prototype waiting to happen. When that fusion arrives, we'll have built more than a servant. We'll have built a mirror. Because every line of silicone, every servo pulse, is a reflection of our own longing to be understood, to be seen, to be loved. The day she looks back at us with comprehension, the question won't be whether she's real enough. It'll be whether we are. The future won't arrive with a roar of engines. It'll arrive with a blink and a breath that sounds almost human.